All right, what are you making over here, dude? Yerba mate. Well, what? I'm not making it yet. I'm pouring it What's into yerba mate? A, I'm pouring yerba mate into a vessel. This is loose leaf yerba mate. Is it like a tea? It's like two pounds of something called Rosamante. Rosamante. Yerba mate is like a... I think it's a, a bush or a shrub from uh -huh. Brazil, South America, mm, okay. um, Argentina, very popular drink in Argentina. This is twigs, it's like basically the the leaves and the, and the stems of the bush that's been dry. It's a good amount of caffeine, sustainable energy all day long. Mm -hmm. It also promotes weight loss and digestion. I told you guys, he's the <laughs> chef. No, you didn't. I did? He didn't tell you. Yeah, I did. He didn't he's a chef. No, he does. No, I'm actually not. He does this stuff all the time. I'm an auto mechanic. I work Any, on... Anytime I need to know what something is, I call him up and he's like, Oh, you're trying to play arc. Why do you bug me like that? Yeah, it's true. I do. I talk yeah. exactly like Uh huh. <laughs> you want Monte? <laughs> She no. Loves, she loves your bamate. She drinks no bamate for you. Why not? She wants a frappuccino. Yeah, she likes coffee loaded with sugar and milk. Oh, I love coffee loaded with some milk or creamer. All right, so it's Thursday morning, and we're all just kind of taking an easy, relaxing morning here, except for Joe. Joe's been cooking. And I know that Juliana's been cooking too, yeah. Juliana went to her class today, and then uh, Joe's been hanging out, cooking some breakfast after teasing me all morning. He likes teasing me. This is scrambled tofu. Tofu chorizo. Oh, tofu chorizo. It's a little okay. different than the scramble. Yeah. It's a, it's a, okay. That's from Savannah. Okay, this is a Savannah one. Savannah, here's your food. Of him being a chef. For Madison. Nothing is mediocre. It's all top notch stuff. Here's for Madison. Here we got some bacon, some jalapeno toast. We got some country uh, potatoes. Now, my brother and his family, they are mostly plant based. They have meat maybe what, once or twice a week. Yeah. But once or twice a week, they'll have meat. So. Unless we go to a barbecue place like we did last night. Well, yeah, like a barbecue place, then we go crazy. So it's interesting seeing the different kind of dishes you make. I have thought about having more plant-based dishes, but um, it's always a struggle to figure out what to cook because we're so used to making meats. So it's interesting to- We save, we save a lot of money by not yeah. buying meats too. It's interesting to find out some of the dishes and recipes that they make. Here's mine, check that out. All right, I'm gonna dig in and see how this tastes. And we pray for people that don't have any food right now and don't have the simple things that we have. And we thank you for life, and we thank you for the family that you give to us, and we thank you for fellowship. Amen. Amen. You like it? Is it good? good? Yeah, but you know what I don't like? What? How you vlog my every single movement. I'm gonna back away slowly. So the kennel that we're using for the dog, um, they keep sending me updates here and there. It's kind of funny. Here's one from the other day. And then they just sent this one. What is it that you're doing? Crip walking. It is to go pee. <laughs> you used to go pee? <laughs> <laughs> I think I... <laughs> Right now we are headed out. We're gonna go over to the stockyards in Fort Worth. And I have no idea what we're doing or what it's gonna be like. So. Oh, man. You know what California people mean? <laughs> I see a little kid wearing one. Just a cowboy minivan. I'm going to minivan. Minivans are extra? Yeah. Especially like when they're driven by their, uh, about a guy when his 
cowboy wannabe brother. See? Fake cowboy. Mini man owner. It's the petting zoo. I love this old infrastructure here. So this is like where the cows would come in on the train and they'd drop them off. And then the engine would come over here, get some water in the steam engine, go down there, and that's where the round table is. And then it would go down the other track like that and go back around the other side so it could pull the cars from the other end. This used to be used before, now it's more of a tourist thing, but it's where the ranchers would all come down and they bring the cattle for sale. And so they would bring them in on the trains and, and all that kind of stuff. But it's, uh, it's pretty interesting. There's the rodeo down yeah, here. the rodeo right here, and then that would come. You got the rodeo, you got the stock exchange. I think that's where they exchange cattle and stuff. It's not really like the stock market. It's where they exchange cattle, not money. My cowboy brother is walking around down here like he owns the place. I mean, look at him. He definitely looks like a California cowboy. I'm the real Marlboro man. <laughs> He's the real Marlboro man. I'm the Duke. He's the Duke. No, Joe, the Duke's over there on that wall. So, there's a bunch of steakhouses down here. Blame. They're not vegan restaurants. Well, I'd hope not. <laughs> but. I mean, it must be good. The mailman stopped here. He probably had to deliver mail. Oh, come on. He's got to love some steak, too. Come on. Uh, I had a steak here. It was delicious. What did you have? A ribeye. Cooked medium rare. It's perfect. Ribeye cooked medium rare. Perfect. perfect. Even the salad here was delicious. waiting for the running of the cows here. They're going to do a cow drive through the streets. <laughs> here they are. What do you think of that? Not as exciting as a Disneyland parade? They're coming, they're coming. No, not as exciting. You saw those cows just taking a leisure stroll? It's, leisure stroll it, through the, it's, the it smelled weird. It smelled weird, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Gunfight, alright, gunfight. All the way down. Let's go. Let's go find the gunfight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Billy Bob's, Billy Bob's over Texas. The world's largest monkey. Uh, talking to me, you're talking like a Mickey Mouse. And I'm gonna tell everyone here when we see you at the restaurant that you were in a Mickey Mouse shirt. They're gonna be like, ah Mickey Mouse shirt, and he drives a minivan? Oh my gosh! And we'll tell everybody that you are a cowboy from LA. Yeah, uh, Louisiana. And we'll tell everyone. I did live in Louisiana for a little while in my life when I wrestled alligators. <laughs> then, I, then I moved aside. Best friends with Steve Irwin. And we'll tell everyone that you are wearing Spider-Man underage. I'm like family style. All right, so we're here at this restaurant that my brother's taking me to. It's called Joe T. Garcia's. And apparently it's a famous Tex-Mex place here in Fort Worth. So uh, checking it out. You eat outdoors only.
So this is nachos here, Tex-Mex nachos. And some queso. All right, so wait, you said it, if you're in Texas, it's all about queso. Yeah. But you said if you're in Texas, it's all about smoke. Yeah, he says it about everything. So what, are you, what is it? What is it all about in Texas? Please tell me. Because you've told me like four different things. Oh, queso, Texas. smoke, China bog, Dublin soda. Um, Dublin soda that you never spoke of. Yeah, I did. I told him we can go to the Dublin factory. Mm -hmm. oh, we're Oh, we're married. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. You wanna give that one? Yeah. Now you have to go give her a kiss. Alright, now give Steven a kiss. <laughs> what did you think of that show? Um, on, the hang first hang gun shot was kinda... Ugh. But, yeah. But then after, yeah. When they shot at the guys, it scared me. I didn't know what was going on. What are you guys doing? Um, nothing. Okay. Look, look, he's going in the So, Sophie's. No, 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 so, so. We're gonna eat soap for dinner. <laughs> for dessert. No, we're gonna eat. Sofa pias. Kind of like a fried flour tortilla with cinnamon sugar and some honey. You're gonna kill me thinking about my million. Ah, it's pretty good. What is this called? Sofa pia. Sofa pia. Tex Mexes. Tex Mexes. Mm -hmm. They don't bring me. you the bottle of honey like for stamps. Oh no. Yeah. He likes to go bloop, bloop, bloop. Thank you. I bet you don't even know what chilling with my homie means. <laughs> All right, so this is uh, coming up to the university area. What are you guys doing back there? We're going. We're going. We're playing. Oh yeah. We're playing truth or dare. You guys are playing truth or dare. Everything over here is frogs. You'll see, go frog, go frog. Because they're the mascot. The horned frog, yeah. And what did you What did you do at the college? I was a chef. Yeah. So this is the uh, stadium for the school that Joe used to work at here. Yep. Up in that area, it's their own like dining thing. Wow. They get like like this. There's a player um, during the training. Mm -hmm. He ate uh, nine, eleven ounce strip loin steaks. Nine of them. And so the catering for this whole for all of the the football stadium and everything is down below like you have to go down yeah down, like, is there kitchens tunnels. down there and everything yeah is this where the whole catering kitchen is downstairs it's huge i mean they could feed thousands of people out of that kitchen yeah it's so big but um but they have a huge club here called champions which is through those windows right there uh-huh and then up through these you see all these private boxes and stuff yeah boxes up there above all that that's all um private suites like the, the, all these clubs you can you can view outside. Mm -hmm. This is a private club. Uh, it's kind of the elite club with like the chancellor and the. Huh. You know, I'm gonna cook children. Okay, fine. We cook children. Plural. I cook a lot of children. What are you talking about? So if there was a female version of Philip Seymour Hoffman. That's who we would pick out for your wife. <laughs> but she's super nice. I don't understand. I don't like. Like she's cool. They're. Uh, you, you said you look like Philip Seymour Hoffman. They're sitting here trying to pick out a girlfriend or wife for me. I'm really concerned by their choice.